Hello everyone, my name is Justin Pou. I'm a software solution architect at IA Financial Group, and I'm really pleased to be here today to talk to you about our developer experience initiative. First, a few words about IA Financial Group to give you an overview of our organization so you can better understand our challenges and the initiative I'm going to talk about today. IA Financial Group is one of the Canada's largest insurance and wealth management groups with operation in the United States also. Our history spans more than 130 years and, like many other insurance firms, our company has traditionally followed a conservative approach, especially in the realms of IT. This conservative mindset has been a key factor in our long-standing success. However, with the rapid advancement of technology, the rise of many new tech CV players in our industry and the changing expectation for our of our customers, we have come to realize the necessity of reassessing our traditional methods and embracing digital transformation. This imperative shift has prompted us to explore new IT solutions and adapt to the evolving landscape of the insurance industry. As part of our transformation, a key focus was the migration of our mission-critical systems to cloud-based infrastructure and Kubernetes alongside the, de the deployment development excuse me, of transition plan for our legacy systems. This cloud migration also includes a lot of new concepts and tools such as infrastructure as code, event-driven architecture, observability, and always-on objective. This change of mindset brought significant benefits for many years now, but also considerably increased the cognitive load and required skills on our RT, IT teams, and as a result, diminished their ability to generate business value for the organization. In particular, this was due to the fact that the teams were now responsible as much for deploying their application, but also everything related to Kubernetes and the associate architecture. We then created system teams in the spirit of team topologies approach to facilitate this evolution. This certainly helped, but they soon realized that the center of excellence and platform teams couldn't meet all their demands as the business taking advantage of those migration for starting several major new development projects for the organization. So they started generating documentation, component, uh, custom component, and uh, new recipes, which sometimes added complexity and reduced portability between lines of businesses. In addition to what I have mentioned previously, here's a few other examples of problems we have identified. Team face challenges in locating information, in identifying the responsible team for a specific element, both during initial phase and when seeking for support. There was also issue on shared or unclear responsibility between teams, which didn't help for implementing, implementing teams. In addition, the growing complexity of our solution, coupled with the high number of tickets required, slowed down team productivity. With all that in mind, our goal with the launch of the DevX initiative is to improve the development experience promoting a simplified path to accelerate time to market and deliver increased business value. By providing comprehensive support throughout the development cycle, our objective is to ensure that we deliver compliant, secure, and up-to-date environments via automated platforms. This strategic approach not only reduces the cognitive load, but also enables our developers to focus on delivering innovative business solutions, improving productivity, and quality while ensuring the continuous and rapid delivery of value-added solutions. To achieve the goal of our DevX initiative, we have implemented a core set of guiding principles. Our approach begins with identifying pain point, also allowing us to deliver value frequently and increase our capacity over time. In order to avoid potential pitfalls, we remain from aiming for the home run on the first attempt and instead focusing on starting small and iterating based on usage and value. These guiding principles form the cornerstone of our strategy, ensuring a focused, iterative approach as we work to enhance the development experience and drive ongoing business value. For instance, in our effort to identify pain point, we have established a team of ambassadors representing each lens of 
by business. These ambassadors serve as proxies with developer development teams gathering information and requests from their respective teams. After that, they are able to uh, communicate, share, and update uh, the key element of our recent iter iteration to ensure everyone is informed about our ongoing efforts. Here are the guidelines for our initiative. These guidelines emphasize the role of being the primary contact for development teams and the priority given to automation to simplify developer tasks. They also stress the importance of providing secure, evergreen, and compliant solutions for all users and promoting self-service through the use of IT enabler for business services. Guided by the, these principles, we are building our DevX initiative on four fundamental pillars. DevSecOps and SRE maturity, platform engineering, AI adoption, and software engineering. For the first pillar, we want to improve our DevSecOps and, and SRE maturity. We have already been DevOps ready for several years now, and we have even organized several DevOps bootcamp in the past to promote that core subject. And now that the foundation are in place, we want to capitalize on the the strength and take things a step further. To boost the efficiency of deployment and change, we want to advance our current CI/CD practices to the next level of maturity. This may involve implementing more sophisticated deployment strategies, such as canary relays or blue-green deployment, enabling us to minimize the impact of change and gather real-time feedback on new releases. In terms of Enhancing the quality of deliveries, we are currently in the, and we are continuing to enhance the, our testing strategy and are exploring the integration of advanced testing techniques like AI-assisted load testing to proactively identify weaknesses in our system. We are also looking to invest in additional automation for environment provisioning and orchestration to bolster the stability of our environments. I will come back to this subject in the next pillar about platform engineering. Furthermore, in the realms of SRE practices, we are focusing on refining our incident response process and leveraging more advanced monitoring and observability tools to improve our system's resilience and reliability. The platform engineering pillar is our DevX, of our DevX initiative is designed to meet the need of our development teams. In particular, we want to deploy this platform to reduce the complexity faced by developer development teams, especially as the corporate ecosystem becomes increasingly elaborated. We also aim to automate and provide as many elements as possible as a service in order to dramatically reduce the number of cross-team requests needed to empower and consequently reduce team wait times. Among our key objectives for the platform engineering project, we have prioritized scalability, observability, as well as security and compliance by default. Initially, we had considered building an in-house platform, looking to integrate several projects to act as a glue in our development ecosystem and reduce the cognitive load associated with our cloud migration complexity. During this process, though, we identified a product that aligned perfectly with our objectives and have since, and we have since uh, initiated the deployment of this solution instead. Our goal is to leverage this new platform to accelerate our development processes and enhance the overall experience of our development tools. Here is the architecture diagram for the solution we are currently deploying. The objective is to abstract everything related to Kubernetes deployment and infrastructure as code scripts for our development teams, while giving them state-of-the-art observability that will keep them aware of the health of their solution. By doing this, we also offload the need for them to make modifications as platform evolve. Through a change in Kubernetes version or a new pol security policies that the enterprise want to implement, for example. The platform also provides out-of-the-box capability to deliver ephemeral environment that will be used for reducing conflict and instability in lower environments in large teams. Another pillar of our initiative is the AI adoption for software development. 
So far, we implemented two elements regarding this subject, enabling GitHub Copilot and working on a chatbot for our internal developer documentation. Our first AI adoption initiative begins as a pilot project in late 2023, focusing on integrating GitHub Copilot to assist our developers. The efficiency, improvement, and acceptance rates that we achieve, which are in line with the information provided by Microsoft and Gartner, establish Microsoft Copilot as a valuable asset in our development toolbox. As of today, this AI-powered solution has been adopted by over 375 developer across our organization, embracing it as an opt-in feature to improve productivity and drive innovation. This successful deployment marks an important first step in our commitment to leverage AI to optimize our development workflows and help our teams reach their full potential. Another great example of, of our AI adoption initiative is our chatbot for internal dev documentation. As we have mentioned earlier, one of the challenges facing developers is finding the right documentation portal for a specific product. To address this, we experimented with deploying an internal documentation chatbot dedicated to addressing queries within our context, such as configuring WSL2 on their desktop, providing example for a PubSub microservices, or determining how often Docker-based image should be updated in line with our security policies. Following a successful experimentation using Microsoft Playground, we are now in the process of internally deploying and scaling this solution. For those interested in developing a similar system, here's a simplified architecture diagram of our solution. Globally, we provide all the markdown files from our various documentation portal to an instance of Azure Connective Services for indexing. Then use an enterprise instance of OpenAI to perform searches for by providing an in-context relevant document page to the prompt provided by the developer. Software engineering is the last pillar of our DevX initiative. The software engineering target many elements of the software development. In particular, we aim to build a team of advisors that will offer software engineering recommendations and best practices based on their expertise to all the development teams. We also want to implement communities of practices to foster knowledge sharing and strengthen team unity. Additionally, the pillar emphasizes the importance of defining the development standards through reference architecture and golden paths to ensure consistency across the organization. In conclusion, this is just the beginning of our initiative. We are already received excellent feedback from the development teams on what we have delivered so far, and we will continue to iterate on these products and provide new tools to help them even more in the future. For example, having begun to roll out the, an internal developer platform, we are now beginning to explore with Backstage the possibility of using this internal developer portal as a future one-stop shop for all developers in our organization. I hope this presentation gave you an interesting overview of our developer experience initiative and will motivate you to launch your home. We have already achieved excellent results after just a few months and I'm thrilled to see the bigger results we will see in the near future. Thank you.